We're here in the Sunday Pavilion of the Royal Festival Hall for the first British performance of Stravinsky's Funeral Song, a work which was only recently discovered, an early, lost, long lost work. And I'm here to discuss it with Natalia Braginskaya, who is an associate professor and vice rector of the St. Petersburg Conservatoire. But her most important role here is that she is the person who more or less found this missing work. And the whole story is really like a detective story. I can say that I've known, uh, of course I've known about, so anybody who loves Stravinsky's music has known this work was lost for a very long time. Stravinsky himself regretted the loss, but he had no idea where it was. But musicologists I've known have been looking for this piece, rummaging around in all kinds of archives, which because of the nature of the Soviet Union had been shut up and no one was allowed into them, and if they were allowed into them they didn't know where to go. And the year before last, in 2015, the conservatoire had to move because of refurbishing. And here I will let Natasha take up the story because she had an inkling of that, this piece and you had actually talked to the librarian about it, hadn't you, and had alerted her to the possibility that this might be found. Yes, I talked. Um to the librarian, Irina Sidarenka, a very good, uh, nice colleague of mine. And uh, I asked her to check once more archives of Philharmonic Library, because um, there was, um, there was uh, imagination that funeral soon uh, would be namely there in that archive. I um, took the call from Irina Sidarenka that day <laughs> of February. Uh, she called me and uh, uh, she said, uh, Natalia, did you look for Pogrebalnaya Pesnya? Yes, I answered. <laughs> Why uh, are you asking me about it? It is Stravinsky. Yes, and what happened? Tell me, please. And then um, she answered, now I have uh, this music in my hand. <laughs> I was deeply shocked. Uh, it was um, absolutely fantastic moment, uh, unbelievable moment in the, the whole of uh, my professional life. And uh, I um, ran to the library where boxes and boxes and boxes from floor to the cell. Um, and um, I, I found uh, the way to Irina and uh, she showed me that manuscript and uh, when I saw um, the name of the author and the name of the piece in old-fashioned orthography and uh, the stamp Russian Symphony Concerts. It was you knew that was it. You, you said to me, you found something, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I knew immediately that, that yes. was what it must be, yes. which it perhaps indicates how important this particular thing is, because you were very excited about it, and that was the only thing it could possibly be. Mm -hmm. I mm, understood that it will be a period of full silence. It was absolutely top secret. Um, process and uh, uh, for a few months um, Stephen Balch uh, was uh, my main confidant. It was top secret correspondence uh, and uh, Stephen's excitement uh, and his absolutely prompt answer um, after my letter. Uh, I have found something uh, I wrote to Stephen, and uh, this enigmatic situation was resolved uh, at once. I by told Stephen. my wife. I did tell my wife. <laughs> and <laughs> I told my husband. <laughs> it was very, very strange Small circle yeah. of people who really knew uh, about this event. 
It seems to have, it seems to have survived really by chance. Because, yes, absolutely. Because it might have been destroyed. Yes, or absolutely. Uh, this manuscript uh, um, survived by chance uh, uh, because all manuscripts, uh, according to the order, when they were written off, they right. must be destroyed yeah. in fire or in garbage yeah. um, and the other, the other um, awful things. Yeah. During Soviet times, some librarian or archivist mm -hmm. or even some, someone whose job it was to throw out mm -hmm. old scores mm -hmm. looked at this mm -hmm. and said, Travinsky, I've heard of him, we don't want to know about him, yes. But we'll keep it. Yes, yes, yes. Do you yes. think that's what happened? Mm, it was a mm, very mm, dangerous situation mm. for those people uh, because I think uh, some of them risked um, with his life, uh, his mm. destiny, because consequences of uh, um, such um, case mm. would be very serious. Yes. And well, I, I think uh, that now discussing the problem of Stravinsky early music, we can be sure that we have whole picture mm. when the chain of event is full, is yeah. complete with um, this uh, rediscovering of uh, funeral song.